Hello everybody, I hope everyone is doing well and welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be going through my makeup bag because I need to sort things out in there. It's a disaster. I need to declutter it, reorganize it, swap things in and out. If you watched my recent video where I showed you how I edit and take my Instagram photos, I did a little get ready with me within that video and I completely forgot to pack a blush. I don't know how that happened. That whole situation, unacceptable around here. I usually have like 20 blushes in here. But anyways, I'm going to stop talking your ears off and before we get into it, I'd love for you to subscribe if you aren't already. It means so much to me and let's get to it. I gotta be honest with you guys. I'm gonna be a little vulnerable here. I don't think my makeup bag has ever been this messy or disorganized in my entire life. When I look at this bag, I don't recognize myself. Like this is somebody else's bag. But anyways, let's see this disaster, shall we? <laughs> Here it is. It doesn't look awful actually. There's just a bunch of random stuff in here that I, I don't know how it made it in here, but yep. This is um, what I used to import the footage onto my computer. Don't know how it ended up in here, but it's been living in here, which it will not anymore. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to take everything out, sort it into categories, and then I'll kind of replace things and add in things that are missing. I also have this in here, which I've been loving. This is the Biosance Squalene and Vitamin C Rose Oil. Fantastic. Love this stuff to bits. Okay, removing everything out of here. This bag fits a lot more than you'd expect. Okay, first things first, I'm gonna pick things that are going to stay in here. I'm actually gonna keep a clip in here, but I'm gonna change the color. So I'm gonna put this pink one in here, keeping my eyelash curler. And instead of this sharpener, I'm gonna put in the Nabla one, just because it's a little bit smaller. Not really, it's pretty much the same size. But this Glossier Play one is my favorite sharpener and it should just stay in my home base. I'm going to keep these two mini skincare products in here. I found a mini oil in my stash of mini, so I'm going to actually use this one in here to save more space. For my sunscreen, I don't feel like I need to have both of these in here. They're a little bit big, so I'm going to keep the Play in the makeup bag and I'm going to put this one away. But now I'm going to organize everything into little sections, then I'll go through it and replace as I go. Okay, I just loosely sorted them. Let's go category by category. So I'm gonna start off with brows because this section is fine. The only thing I'm adding is an M Cosmetics brow cream in the shade Ebony. So I have the brow cream, this Charlotte Tilbury Brow Fix, which is my favorite clear brow gel, and I have this NYX Lift and Snatch Eyebrow Pencil, which is great to make fine hair-like strokes. And then I have this Quo Beauty Brow Pencil. So that's good. It's gonna go straight into the makeup bag because I always tend to forget to pack stuff for my brows. So I know it's in there. I won't have a browless day anymore. So now I have some complexion products. I have three skin tints in here. I think I'm going to keep my MAC Studio Radiance as well as this one because I'm testing this one out recently. I think I've been using this one too much, so I'm gonna put it away. This is the NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer, but I'm going to swap in the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop because this one does have a bit more coverage and it's good for longer makeup days since it has a soft matte finish. It just wears really well when I need my makeup to be on for uh, a really long time. I'm just gonna move this to the side for a second. So I have a very sheer option, something I'm testing out and something that has a bit more coverage and that I know will be really long wearing. So now moving on to concealers. I have the Fenty Beauty Bright Fix as well as the Josie Marin Vibrancy Concealer. I'm going to be swapping out the Josie Marin and putting in my e.l.f. Cosmetics uh, hydrating camo concealer just because I have been using the Josie Mare one for a very long time now And I just want to rotate it a little bit and I really like how all of these products play together So I think that's a good decision and for powder I have these two in here the Kosas cloud set as well as the Pat McGrath under eye blurring powder I'm happy with these. I've been testing this one out and this is a solid in my collection. So happy with those and lastly, for complexion, I had the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. This is a mini version, so it's great for my makeup bag, and it's a good one for longevity purposes. So I'm going to be keeping this as well. 
this little box is pretty much full already. Uh oh. Okay, so now moving on to bronzers, blushes, and highlighters. So these are the three products I have in there right now. The Flower Beauty Heat Wave Bronzer and the Day Glow Highlighting Glaze. And I also have the NARS Casino Bronzing Cream. I'm going to be keeping this bronzer in here because I have been testing this one out. I've been really enjoying it. But for my cream bronzer, I'm going to replace it with the Danessa Myrix Beauty one just because I've only tested this out twice so far and I need to use it a bit more and I really, really have been enjoying my experience so far with it. So I'm really happy with these bronzers. I feel like these will cover my bases, so those are coming with me. I'm going to replace this Flower Beauty Day Glow Highlighting Glaze with the MAC Pearl Cream Color Base just to switch it out. It's just a really pretty natural highlight that just goes with anything right now. So I'll bring this one. Now for blush, this is something I was missing from my makeup bag and I just picked out a few that I want to bring but I have a few too many to be honest. So the Tower 28 ones in the shades Power Hour and Magic Hour. I'm gonna narrow this down but these are all the ones that I would like to bring. I have the Kara Weiss Desired Glow Cream Blush. Beautiful nudey color for my skin tone. Just goes with everything. I think this is a, a must. Plus it's getting a little old. I would also like to fit in Venetian Rose from M Cosmetics. I would also like to add in Wet n Wild Mellow Wine and M Cosmetics Faded Clementine because I really want to bring this out more since it's this gorgeous orangey color. So fun for the spring and summer, like look at that color. So I have to narrow this down. Oh, and I'm also going to add in a freck in here because I'm I like to have my faux freckles some days. So I feel like these two colors are quite similar. So I'm going to keep the Tower 28 one, put this one away, because this is a little bit more sleek. I feel like it will fit better. I really want to keep this and this, and I'm going to put these two away. That's a lot of blush. I don't know. We'll, we'll see if it fits. Now moving on to eye products. Let's bring all of that out. So these are all the products I had for eyes, and I'm going to... What am I going to do? I'm going to for sure keep my Makeup by Mario pencils. Soft brown is my most used, but I also really like Perfect Brown. Those are keepers. These come with me everywhere. I am going to remove these two products, the Sugar Pill Fun Size Palette, as well as the White Color Fix from Danessa Myricks. I don't think I'll be using these on an everyday basis for a little bit here, but I have been really loving this on an everyday basis, the Color Fix in the shade Exposed. It's just a really soft, neutral color. Perfect for every day if you want some soft definition. It's gorgeous, gorgeous color. I love it. And it's so easy to work with. It's perfect for a makeup bag. These excite me so much. They work so well, they don't crease. They're so easy to work with. They're the best cream eyeshadows I have ever used. I need to expand my collection like right now. So this is staying. I have this Makeup Forever glitter in like this green color. I don't know how this made it in here, but it's really pretty, but I don't think I'm going to use that like on an everyday basis. Wow, that is a look though. On top of the neutral, really pretty. Wow. I just distracted myself. I don't think I'll use this right now in my makeup bag, but this is a really fun look I should do. I will be keeping my Melt Cosmetics mini stack. It's just perfect for a makeup bag, so easy to use. And I need to keep my Fenty Beauty eye primer. I always need an eye primer in here. For my mascaras, I'll be keeping the M Cosmetics Pick Me Up, but I'm going to be putting in the Gucci Beauty mascara just because it's almost time to throw it out and I need to use it up. I'm going to be adding my Tom Ford Abyssinian color just because I haven't used it in a while and I really miss it. It's a warmer color than the exposed shade, so if I want more of a warm brown look, I'll have that option. And I also wanted to pull this out because I kind of forgot about them, the Auric eyeshadows, and I need something with a shimmer. So I'm going to be bringing along Defiance. Really, really pretty. So here's my eye section. It's just a whole lot of the same color in here, but that's just what I wear when I'm oot in a boot. So now let's move on to the last category, which is lips. So I'm for sure going to be keeping my Lana Lips 101 ointment. Really great product to have in my makeup bag. My lips are suddenly dry. 
fantastic product it, like heals them in an hour I swear it's such a good one let's start off with these lip liners I have the NYX natural lip liner I have MAC Oak and M Cosmetics Fawn I think I'm going to keep all three of these but I'm going to add in a few and I don't mind doing that because lip liners don't take that much space but I'm going to add in Honey Beige from Huda Beauty. I need my M Cosmetics Kitten. I don't know why I don't have one in here. And I also am adding Strip Down because that's my favorite combination with the M Cosmetics Faded Clementine color. I feel like they suit each other really nicely. I just need like a peachy one in here for summer. So it's a lot of pinkier nudes or naturals or browns. That one's too pink. That was Charlotte Tilbury Pink Venus. This one is perfect. I'm gonna try this one. This is the NARS Saint Raphael. Pretty. I love my lip liners and I felt incomplete without my other go-to's in here. Now for lip products themselves. I'm gonna replace my Kosas lip oil because I've been using this one a lot, but I'm going to sub it for the Iconic London one in the shade Queen Bee. Plus it's a little slimmer. I'm going to keep my NARS Brief Encounter lip product. I just love this so much. It's the perfect everyday brownish nude. This is why I needed a peachy lip liner. It's the Wet n Wild Bellini Overflow color. Beautiful. So nice for any time of the year, to be honest. This always lives in my makeup bag. I was going to see if I wanted to add this one, which is a pink neutral color. This is the shade clothes off but i think it's a bit too cool toned for what i'm wearing these days i am for sure going to be keeping the m cosmetics faded clementine in here just so that it suits the blush it's a cute moment i'm going to be taking out this color right here the venetian rose and i'm going to swap it for something else i just used that one too much and i found this new color in here the Ilia sheer lipstick in the shade nobody's baby i think that's going to be a fun one to have in here it's a little bit more on the nude pink side rather than the peachy so i think it'll have its place in here i'm also going to add in this mini melt lipstick in the shade suntan just if i want more of a bronzy look i like to add a touch of this with some gloss just because i find this formula to be a little bit dry but the color is so nice that i find altering it is worth it plus it's so baby like it, it'll fit fine and i'm going to remove these two lip glosses because they're a little bit too fall for what i'm doing right now the tower 28 cashew gloss and the buxom pumpkin spice latte but i want something a little bit more spring or summery so i'm going to put tower 28 coconut in here just to have some kind of true pink option so here is my final lip category it's a little bit extra but i'm an extreme overpacker i feel bad for the product that stay home okay so these are all coming with me this time <laughs> so let's see if everything fits I'm gonna lay all these sticks on the bottom it's a little tight and a little bit messed up here but it, it fits <laughs> now let's slide everything in and these two cubes fit perfectly and I have a little bit of room here I'm gonna throw in my sponge. I need to clean this, but just for the visual, it goes boop. And then my little clip. And there we go. Perfectly packed, refreshed makeup bag. So there we have it. A fully refreshed, reorganized, beautiful makeup bag. I feel so much better. <laughs> I don't know why I was feeling so stressed out about this. It's not a big deal. But anyways, that is all from me today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a like. It would help me out so very much. I'll make sure to link the makeup bag as well as the things inside it in the description down below. So feel free to check that out. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Love you. Bye.